Today, we're going to be adding an ejection seat to the Ultimate Fighter Jet. Let's get started. All right, so for the ejection seats, we actually need the canopy. So for the canopy, we need to disconnect basically everything up here and make it a different subgrid. So now that we got it copied, we're going to cut it out with that button right there and then paste it back in the same exact spot. And now we need like some type of connector connection thing to actually fling open the canopy and just open it when we want to like, you know, enter the plane. All right, so for that, we're going to need a couple different materials. So we're going to clear out like that entire area right here and we're going to grab ourselves a very powerful robotic pivot or actually it's called a robotic hinge and that'll work so we're just going to put that right there and that's going to be the really strong pivot to open the door and then on the other side of that pivot we're going to do a hard point we're just going to get this hard point connector and we'll put it right here and oh i don't know if this is going to work we might have to actually back up this entire area here what we're trying to do right now is make it so the actual canopy can disconnect and like fly open and fly a separate direction when we actually eject all right so for this to work we're going to have to get rid of this um curvature area and actually not get rid of it but just kind of like you know back it up and that might get in the way of our our fuel tank here so this is gonna be interesting oh it definitely is okay we'll just do one block for now we'll merge it in we have symmetry on so this shouldn't be an issue we'll fill up these blocks right here on the side so no fuel leaks out and then in the actual fuel tank yeah we have a pretty massive leak here and actually we can just fix that by grabbing that and put it upside down and i think that should be all we have to do it looks all clear for me all right so now that we have that done we're gonna go ahead and click clear that and then we're gonna copy our robotic pivot and same with our connector copy that put it back one block so now we can actually um connect it to the the canopy here oh wrong thing there we go all right so we place this little connector right here and that'll connect to the canopy window part right here so this is the actual part that'll disconnect so it's gonna be pretty cool watching this thing fly away all right so we're gonna do that there we go so we can barely even see it now all right so we're gonna be using the same microcontroller we actually just used for the landing gear so this input right here will be like open and closed for the actual entire um what's it called canopy yeah and then the official button to actually open the canopy will be right here so let's grab ourselves a toggle button and not just a regular toggle button one on both sides so we can click this if we're on the inside or outside that's kind of necessary so now that we have that done we're going to connect this toggle button to that and the shit all just works so when it's on it goes to plus one and off goes to plus zero or actually just zero it's already set perfectly should have just worked okay so moment of truth we open it and it does nothing okay it might be going the wrong way possibly okay well since that's not working we're going to go to a different approach here so we're going to actually disconnect the entire canopy and make it go straight vertical when it spawns in instead of like already being connected. So I'll show you what I mean here. We're just gonna back that up. And we're actually just gonna copy all of this stuff here. So if we click this and then click like P or something, nope, not P, um, not that either. It should go just straight vertical like that. And since it's vertical, we could probably move it up a single block. I think that's how we are supposed to do it. And then we click that. And then now we need the actual canopy part. Okay, so now we got our canopy going straight vertically in the air and we're just going to kind of just reconnect it like a Lego piece. And actually one of our Lego pieces disconnected and didn't copy. So we'll just have to manually manually do this part and we'll replace the block right here and it'll interlock and then we have to delete that one okay this should all work let's delete those unnecessary blocks if we click merge um oh yeah we got to connect this bottom green part so it doesn't just fly out of place so we'll do that real quick but now we need to actually kind of opposite this so when it's on it'll actually go to zero and when it's off it'll go to one and it's not listening there we go okay we're gonna test this hopefully it works so it's at zero right now and as you can see it's um a little bit too far in front so you know i don't think we we're actually supposed to move that up a block but now let's see if we uh, enable it and it doesn't work there's something's definitely going on guys i'm looking at the plane right now and i feel like our wings are way too close to the front so you know what just real quick i'm gonna move them back just one or two or three blocks maybe all right now that we got that done we're gonna reconnect the fuel lines because they're very uneven and since we move the wings back we're gonna do the same thing with the landing gear great now the plane looks much better and actually um stays level because you know the landing gears are farther back and you know what guys i just figured out something this button's not gonna even work because it's not like actually connected look how many merged things it goes through it's definitely not even on the same subgrid but somewhere where we can put it is probably like right here so we're gonna put that right there merge it in and i think all the logic nodes are still connected what in the world we got like a kind of a ventilation going on there okay maybe we should cover that up so since we're having issues with this not being able to open we're gonna add some more robotic pivots on the bottom except these are like these two robotic pivots oh this is just getting really chaotic at this point okay we're gonna have to disconnect that and cut it back in there merge it to the robotic pivots and merge it into the thing is already connected to this is really chaotic looking okay i don't know if there's like a simpler way of doing this and then we're going to set this to negative one right here and that'll be connected to both of those robotic pivots right here not the main one. Oh, this is just so complicated okay it's closing it has failed to close um why okay the seat's in the way now because of the robotic pivot okay the candy bee's closed now now it has to open okay there we go okay it does open it's a little bit scary but it does work oh that's all that matters wait it's not opening all the way and it's like shaking 
and if we ejected, that would be catastrophic. So we definitely have some issues we need to fix, you could say. All right, all right, we got it working. See, look, now when I click the button, it opens all the way and perfectly. Look, when I close it, it even gets like the perfect seal too. So it doesn't like glitch through the actual body frame. All right, so now we're talking straight business over here. Now we need to actually start making the ejection seats themselves that are gonna launch out of this thing. So it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so this is how the ejection seat's actually gonna work. So this is the seat right here that we're gonna be sitting in. So it's gonna replace that one. These are the two rocket boosters that are gonna launch us basically into outer space. And this right here is the bottom connector connecting us to the actual plane. So we're not just like wobbling all over the place. And then this is our parachute directly on our back. So hopefully this works. All right, so we got this copied. We're gonna just move this slightly in our plane where we need it. Okay, so right here is the perfect spot where we need it. Um, I think it's a little bit too high. There we go. Okay, we don't want it in the ground. Okay, so we can't place it right here because it'll actually interrupt our instruments and stuff or just really our one dial right there. And then if we do it one block back, it'll actually disrupt our entire like back person seat. I feel like we could maybe back up the back seat a little bit more. So we're just gonna paste that in there like that. Completely destroy the back seat and make sure to merge that in. Okay, so now we have the actual back seat and this is the back seat that'll of course eject. And I don't know if there's a lot of room for this. So we'll have to put this right here, lower it one block and that gets in the way of our gyro. Okay, that's an important microcontroller. So we're just gonna put that seat there for now. Um, put our gyro somewhere else in the aircraft. Ooh, I really don't wanna move this because if we need to like repair it immediately, we just turn around and repair it, but now we can. You know what? I have an idea that'll fix this. We'll put this in the floor right here, put it directly upside down. So just, you know, looks like the floor. We'll paste it in and okay, I think that'll actually um, end up working out perfect. All right, so now we have the back canopy um, reattached and we're gonna lower it in here. And I think it's all, oh, that's definitely not right. Okay, we have to back it up even more. Oh, that's definitely gonna cause some issues. I don't, wait, actually, yeah, it definitely will. So what we're gonna do to try adding more space, we're gonna delete these blocks right here. And since those are deleted, we need to add these on the canopy part. So we're really just extending this. Let's see how this works. Um, would we be able to clear it? And you know what, guys? I think we're gonna have to do something pretty big right here. We're gonna have to back up this entire um area, like this area, one more block. Okay, so that's kind of the last resort option here, but that just means it has to work. All right, we got it backed up. We're gonna remerge it. And all right, so we would completely clear the canopy and all the glass, only if that's directly vertical. Okay, so that's working. Let's spawn this in and kind of just look at it. Okay, so it opens. Oh, I think we forgot to connect something there. All right, perfect. We got it connected. It closes, but it is one block behind where it's supposed to be. So how should we fix that? All right, so all we should have to do is rise this up one block and just fill that block up right there. And there's gonna be a gap somewhere that we have to watch out for. So let's see where this is going to appear. All right, so the gap's right there, but it is going through. Okay, so we're having the issue where the actual glass is going through that area again. There we go. So now we got the perfect little gapping right there so we can actually see the bottom plane area right here fixed. It only is collapsing because I'm jumping on it. I'm a bit heavy. All right, so now we need a way to actually launch this entire thing open and then disconnect it using this. So once this disconnects, it'll definitely, yep, yeah, disconnect. And for the ejection seat, there's a whole bunch of these microcontrollers that we have to actually put in just to transfer the composite because we can't even use these anymore. We have to go straight through composite now, which is kind of the uh, hard part. And now we need some rocket boosters to actually launch this thing off of its like straight hinges when we launch it. Okay, so we're just gonna do some of those. I don't know if they exactly need fuel, but if they do, we'll just grab some different ones. So when the thing is launched, it'll activate both of those. And then if this is launched, how will this launch? Okay, so it'll go uh, the second it clicks number six, because that's the ejection number. So what we're gonna do is add a delay to this so the actual canopy can open before it ejects, because, you know, we're not trying to go on national news here. So we're gonna put that there. It's a delay. So it'll delay what signal? It'll delay that one to that one. And how far do we want it to delay? We'll just do 0.1, honestly. So just a very small delay should have it work. And I think we all got it working, so let's test this. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and click number six. So number six, well, oh, the canopy's broken. Why is the canopy broken? Oh, it's because of that. Okay, so we need to put that somewhere else. All right, anyways, now when I click number six, it'll launch. Okay, yep, we definitely had an issue there. See, that's how you go on national news. We had a canopy failure or something happened. So what I think actually happened is these didn't even actually boost to disconnect it. So we need to fix that. All right, we've reconnected them. I think those are like infinite fuel ones, but let's see. So now if we click number six, okay, we have a sealage issue again. Number six, it'll launch though. Yeah, that's definitely broken. So I just switched something very important. Now, if we go in here and click number six, it'll launch it open and launch us out a second after. Oh, that's awesome. And the parachute even deploys. Oh, okay, we need to test this. All right, so let's get in our plane here. And oh, guys, wait, we forgot to connect everything up. So we need to reconnect our like, um, 
um, ignition stuff, so our compressors and all that stuff. All right, so now we should have everything all connected, and now if we click number one, let's listen, it'll turn on our jet engines. Okay, and then we're gonna full throttle here, and our fuel tank has a leak in it. Oh, gosh. And would you look at that? Our fuel tank is now fixed. Engines on. We're gonna go to full throttle here. Why not? We're gonna explode these engines and, of course, eject. Okay, both engines do turn on still. We have our pitch control. Roll control still works, okay? And rotates. We're in the air. Okay, it's a little bit bouncy once again because of our gyro here. Uh, oh, I need to connect our landing gear button. Is that over here? I don't know. Alright, let's see. Our engines have just exploded. Now what we're gonna do is click our handy number six button. It'll fling our canopy open and eject us out of the plane. Oh, that is awesome. We now have an ejection seat. This is actually gonna be the best fighter jet in Stormworks. And that's our co-pilot over there. And I don't know what the co-pilot should do. Let me know in the comments what you think our co-pilot should do because I have no idea. Maybe our like radio operator. And there goes our plane actually crashing over there and the engines just turned off. What does this thing look like without the actual seats? That looks so weird. That actually looks really creepy. Okay, so there goes our ghost abandoned plane crashing straight into the ocean. And we're gonna have number one on this actually be the landing gear. So let's just kind of follow the line here. So this right here and then we need to do number one. Where's number one? Okay, number one's actually connected to the jet engines. Never mind. I forgot about that. So we'll do that to engines and then number two right here will be connected to the gear. So gear will go up and then this is the microcontroller on the top here. So gear two is right here and then we'll connect number two to our microcontrollers down here. Yeah, so if we click number two, it'll put all of our gears up. But for some reason, I don't think the hatch works. Okay, so we're just going to calmly exit the plane here and then bring this back to the workbench. Oh, I just can't wait to use this in an actual battle. Oh, can't wait. Oh, okay. I understand now. So we connect the delay that we had over here to the number two. Okay, so this will work. I don't even need to test it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't forget. Someone did say that most um, fighter jets have their throttle on the left instead of the right. So that is a pretty good key point right there. So we're going to move this over. Thank you guys for all the tip comments. Uh, make sure you guys let me know one in this video so we can do it in the next video. But all right, let's spawn this in. Kind of just do a little test run. The last test run here, of course. We've already done one and make sure our landing gear works. Uh, yeah, I guess we will be testing that today. All right, Neotastic 2 ATC. We're going to be rotating up here. Perfect. And number... Oh, what's our... Um, okay, our canopy is kind of like being a little bit weird there. It opened up. Okay, so there's something going on with that. It's closed now, which is all that matters. Okay, we're going to put our gear up even though we're about to crash and then the thing should close. Perfect. They do attempt to. Okay, that's as much as they're closing. That'll work. Okay, so since we are about to crash, we do have to eject. So three, two, one. Here we go. It completely launches the canopy off. That's awesome, but that's probably going to be it for this video. Let me know what we should actually add to this thing next. This is going to be the best fighter jet, but make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description, but thanks for watching and goodbye.